And I'm live on the internet. The question is, do I have a Clayton with me? There we go. Absolutely not. There he is. <laughs> Quinn says, I've always wanted to join a cult. So. I feel like it's a line from something, but I can't tell what. I feel like that could be a line in a lot of things. <laughs> he bailed last minute. Yeah. He uh, his power flickered and he wasn't yeah. able to come in and it was a whole thing and I was gonna do a stream all by myself. Now I'll tell you what'll keep me away from the stream: getting a car part delivered from frickin' Japan that I had to pay like three and a half times what it would probably cost in America. So you were yes, really me, concentrating but... last night uh, if, when you were playing Ali Ali 2. So I didn't bring uh -huh. that up, but I wanted to bring oh, that yeah. up. Like, oh, my God. It was insane. Clayton looked at the... Because like the day before, Clayton was like, okay. I said, What's, where's your status of your package coming from Japan? And he goes, it's on Osaka. And I was like, okay. And then the next day, he's like, I just got the notification. It's at our box. I'm like, huh? Yeah. It made the trip from Osaka to Indianapolis uh, overnight in like uh, what what seemed to be like eight hours. But then it was from Indianapolis at like two in the morning or something ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's all in UTC. So like in our box by like two in the afternoon. Imagine like this box being tossed from conveyor belt to like processing plant at the last second right as the driver is pulling away and the driver hits all green lights from <laughs> Indianapolis to Houston. That's the only way that it seems like this could have been possible. It may it covered so much ground so fast. I would love to actually watch the replay of this thing sprinting around the planet. Okay, we last left off. Remember, all of us were in the woods, and we ran across a bunch of people that were in hoods, looking real fucking sus, doing some bad things to my poor boy, Lurv. Quentin says, I'll have my cousin. Uh, I'll have my cousin have the Marines bring it over from Japan. Marines have the best uniform. They have the hottest uniform. Like, it's that and then that all white Air well, Force. I'm sure, I'm sure Quentin agrees that Marines have the hottest uniform uh, because Master Chief is a Marine. <laughs> All right. So for some reason, Did they ever establish what branch, if any, the Cogs are. Uh, that would be a question for Logan. Oh, okay. He's actually a. <laughs> I can't tell if you're joking or not. No, I think he is actually. I thought it was naval. Yeah, he's a petty officer. Who? Um, J John Master Spartan? Chief. Dep because didn't we determine, Quentin, that technically the naval has control of space? I think I got confused. John Spartan is from uh, Demolition Man. I don't know what Demolition Man is. But John 117 or whatever his name is. All right, I don't know why I'm not here, huh. but I'm uh, not here. I mean, you, um, maybe when you press the button, you'll walk in? I don't know. Let's find out. Maybe you're hiding behind the couch? <laughs> <clears throat> I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I have no idea. I don't. I, who was this guy? I don't remember this guy. He, he just hangs out. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Oh, right. Oni. Of course. The, the, they called it Oni. Office of Naval Intelligence leads uh, the Spartan Project. I remember hearing that once and going, oh, yeah, because they also have a game called Oni, I think, or something like that. Hmm. I like go over the plots of books I've read. Oh, <clears throat> look at the smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been in order. Wow. You try to remember every place you've ever been? In order. In order? Mm-hmm. You would melt your brain. Clearly that guy doesn't have a brain anyways. 
You've seen yeah, him. He gets like look at the glassy eyes. High, yeah, he gets high like every day at work on sugar, caffeine, oh, was that or drugs. The I fox don't know. saying that. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well. These grapes are super pre-ripe. So they I'm are very I'm, tart. I'm B now. Yeah. I am so tired. I could like curl up on their bed. There's like a whole living area under there. That okay. That only happens when you're in your twenties. What? That you have a desk bunk? <laughs> yes. God, I, mean, I couldn't get on top of a bunk bed if you paid me. There's a there's like a whole thing of like tiny housing tiny living thing where they put stuff like they put the the bed highest in the room because when you're laying in bed you need oh, the right, least Quentin, space. Is Navy. <clears throat> uh Air Force has blue dress. Navy has white, yeah. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. <laughs> Clayton played it until he broke the controller. Well, That's depending on harsh. Depending on what system you're playing on, that might not be very long. If you're playing it on a Switch, that's like a day and a half. <laughs> I still need new controllers. Oh, oh. So, no word from her parents? Nope. Did you leave a message? I yep. we're talking about May, right? I, we've got to be. I don't see anyone <coughs> out there. Just wait. He'll be back. Oh, maybe it's... Is it May and the person know. we met at the party? I don't I have know. No idea. So we still have no idea who this is. Uh, big guy. Dirty coat. All right. So there was a stream today. I'm going to look out, look up what it was about. Or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. I have no idea what's going on here. Hey, look. There's the boyfriend. Okay, so... Got Angus, brownies, right? Got sodas. Yeah. Want some brownies? Oh. I'm, I'm meant to brownies. bring this up and. last night. And I forgot to. Mm -hmm. But Mech Warrior 5 is out now. And it looks so freaking cool. Uh, don't know anything about Mech Warrior. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. Mech Warrior 2 was a game that just, and I mean just barely, ran on my mom's work computer when I was like 13 years old. <laughs> That's right. That's right. America's ass Angus. <laughs> um, in Mech Warrior 2, there was, a, there was a visual mode called Wireframe where it would turn off all of the graphics and it would render everything as a wireframe. And that was the only way I could play that game was to turn off literally all the graphics and play it. Like it was a a sci-fi uh, VR game. Uh, but what was it today? Was it the Sony State of Play, or was that the other day? Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, I'm. Wait, everybody, shut up! What? Uh, I was like, are they just standing there? Well, I heard her too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everybody, be quiet! Oh my god. What the fuck? Basically playing it in week one of development. What are you talking about? Uh Mech Warrior Five? It's gotta be. Oh, oh, well he was he was oh he was saying uh when I played it in wireframe mode. Yeah. <laughs> I can't just cut black on us, huh? Yeah, I was confused by that. 
I guess I'm in the woods where I ran away from the cult people. Did you spend a night in the woods? Oh. Okay, let's just... I know I have a dirty mind, but come on. Those look like penises. It is rather phallic, but it's just a fence post. It is very phallic. Uh, <laughs> it says I don't see it. <laughs> yes, you do. Bless your uh, innocent eyes. Uh, There's like see. no sound or nothing. Get your it's head out of the gutter. My head is always in the gutter. Let's see. I don't want to say it until I find out what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> uh, there was a, a live stream of Sega's Sonic Central uh, where they announced a new Sonic Retro Collection that will include the elusive Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I did not realize that was a, a, a hard-to-find title. Tell Logan about that. Yeah. Um, Sonic Origins will be released in 2022. Oh, Lord. What the hell? God is here in this <laughs> room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. Is that my mom? My dad? I mom? Think so. Dad? While we're here, maybe Welcome someone would like church. to say something about May. That'd be nice. I'll say something. May Barowski, Bar Barowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I gotta say. Okay. Thank you, Willow. I'll speak up. Go ahead. I hope I hope this guy has a lot to say so you, you can do it all in this voice. May was a daughter to all of us <laughs> on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out exactly what happened to her. You sound like you're sitting on a paint mixer. <laughs> oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Wow. Down the end of Central Avenue and someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. What? And May fell. She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time and... Oh. Well. I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about... It. Okay, why did I fall down? And then landing up in the church. Why am I in a hospital, you fucking idiots? See if because she remembers God is who's here. on it. I'm sure she... Wake up, for God's sake. Oh, my Lord. Oh, good, I am in a hospital, I'm not Okay, church. cool transition. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know <clears throat> you? <laughs> I fixed the door. Are you here to clean up? Yep. Nah. Supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Is he God? Nope. <laughs> okay, so... He fixes the gates of heaven. She's gonna be fine for today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor! The house is gone. May! Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? 
May, honey? Everything. So did none of that happen in the middle or what? I, I, don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Chivalry is dead. <laughs> I think I'm dead. Why is there like a an overshadow? I also still hear the clicking of the beep or of the hospital of ho yeah. heart monitor. The EKG. And I'm trying to determine if time is passing slowly, if if shadows are moving, or the box is just kind of wiggling. No, just wiggling. Hey, Shelby, can you put your mouse on screen? No. Or Alt-Tab out of this? Uh, okay, thank you. Would you like for me to retract your abilities? Uh, no, you can continue. I just need to tell my computer not to restart just yet. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, got it, Quentin. I've never noticed. Why am I... I look like shit. I can't even jump. Someone's let me out of the house and I look like this? I never noticed before, Quentin. I was only noticing because I was listening to the tick of the EKG. EKG. Okay, my computer's not going to restart anymore. That's good. Yeah. Is that you walking or is... No, it's me walking. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh my god. B. Oh my god, May? So this is me showing up to her apart or to their apartment. Holy shit, it's May. It's me. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! Like the all fox. Right, all right. I'm down for the fox. You're at eleven, I need you at about a three. How about me or the fox? The, the fox. Always the fox. <laughs> but he got his dancing arms out, Clayton. He's a uh, dancing. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm feeling woozy. Then maybe you should be in fucking bed, you tar, dar, you dar, fucking pain in the ass. You Easy should that. lay down. I know. You could sleep in our bed. Past. It's a fucking bunk bed. How the hell am I going to get up there? I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. But did I have to electrocute myself to get up to the stairs? Because you know the elevator's broke. Uh -huh. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. She passed out in a church, apparently. I passed out on your couch. I hope she's all right. Hmm. I feel like Clayton's the bird in this situation. Both of you! Shh! No! What? It's... It's less noisy. Oh, instead of saying shh, say th because it's less yeah. noisy. Oh, I There's hate that. TH I hate has that. Less, it tickles. Has less, has less of a hiss. Do that. It tickles your mouth. I don't like that. You do it every time you say the, the word with. Yeah, but do it for extended time frame. Do it. It tickles. Mm. I mean, like, I, I just did it. And it well, it tickles me. Oh, okay. So how well do you know this guy? We're at a pizza, like, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now, since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. But I can spot him through the keyhole. Well, if it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. 
All right. Well, as long as there's a plan. Why are we so afraid of a pizza, dude? Hello? I think they're they're afraid of someone showing up that's not the uh, pizza dude. <coughs> Look who's awake. What? Oh. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza here! Dancing arms. Dancing arms. Oh, pizza, 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 pizza. Give me pizza. I want a second. I want a second. So, what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Yeah, kind of the same thing. Uh, yeah, nice. Always. The pop box always puts the pizza back a little bit. Why did I put my pizza back? Give it back. I had this dream. Or like a vision. Or I time traveled. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just going to sleep here. Sorry, Mom. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Happy drive you home. I will. May? Sorry, Mom. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. Just constantly look like I'm gonna throw up at any moment. I mean I don't I don't I don't understand what happened to you that you're in such bad shape. Well, other than you but because if you had fallen a lot, you'd think you'd have like broken bones. Not necessarily. It could also just hit my head. I had brain swelling. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Con put into coma, keep the swelling from causing permanent damage. Yeah. Except for concussion. Ooh. Clinton says a hairball. <laughs> <laughs> you want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd, like, puke my actual guts out. Metal. All right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. I've been so perky this entire time, and now I'm such a Debbie Downer. I mean, she was in a coma. Yeah. Uh, okay, that wasn't me controlling there at the end. Oh, was it not? No, oh, dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this, I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, what are and we're ghosts, in? we should hang out more. Deal. What does that mean? What does that mean? What even was that game? Werewolf uh, Shred the, Shred the gnar. gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house like years ago. I played it yesterday at home. C cool. I'm breaking free. I'm getting out the door. Damn it, won't let me out. They've got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place, at least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me 
it too. Or if you are, I'm glad we're both dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crime. <laughs> Crime. Crime. Can I look out the window? No? Okay. Maybe just talk to B again real quick then. There's just no music, which is really bothering me. <laughs> cool, I'll be right out. Are we, are we both sleeping on the couch? I've been in a coma. I feel like I clean couch. You give floor. Hey, guys. Can we do lights out now? I'm going to drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. Bye, bird. You sure it's safe for you to leave? He wasn't even with us. None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. <laughs> oh, right. See ya. Bye, germ. Okay, his name's Germ. So anyone know? This is like me and Clayton when we try to lay on the couch together. Yep. We have to, like, put our feet a diagonal of each other so that... Interwoven. Yeah, it's like this whole process. <laughs> Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't even talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And I was really into it. Played it 24-7. Until this one afternoon, and suddenly, like, something broke. Broke? It was just like pixels. The characters off screen. I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things written. Someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. Get real meta. Would exist either, for real. And it felt so sad. Like, I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me. Alone. And that realization, like, dumped me out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front, and I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just the thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes. Just like the, this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Wow, that's a... Uh... And the next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines. Someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and I just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with his bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. I think that's how a sociopath develops. I don't remember any of that from my sight class. I mean, you, you lose grasp of... Reality? Reality and consequence. Because you wouldn't feel bad about destroying a shape the same way you would feel bad about destroying a person. And when you reduce everything you see to a series of shapes and lines and colors, then nothing has any humanity to, uh, with, to hold back destruction. So what you're telling me is I'm becoming a sociopath. No, I'm saying May is coming a sociopath. Okay. 
But if you start to think you you are May, then maybe. I mean, it's my voice I use for her. Oh my God, May. Do you talk to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh God, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help me to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda? Sorta? But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. But I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder or something. A really shitty statue. Like, all rusty metal. And it was there. It was, it, and it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate an entire pizzas at once. I yeah. downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dr. Cough. And finally I got up the courage to leave. And I came home. Where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head. In my life. I don't mean to be like... Whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. No oh, shit. And like, I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry and the half dozen other things he does and maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety. I'm like, I don't know. What you're going through, it exists. I thought when I came home, I just felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And, eh, and, shh, bitch, don't shush me. It's going to be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know. We're all scared. But we're going to make it. You should get some sleep. I... I'm going rogue. <laughs> Come on, let's go in the streets. Bye, guys. Love you. This is not good. Give me two seconds. I got a message I got to deal with. Hmm. Yeah, I saw uh, MechWarrior 5, like, pre pre release stuff <clears throat> forever ago. And I had kind of just forgotten about it. <laughs> Cats on the prowl. Um, but now that it's out, I'm going to start paying attention to it more. Sonic, not so much. Sonic, I can appreciate, but not really my thing. I assume you're back? Yeah, yeah my back's here, clearly. I <clears throat> burped into the mic. Nice. Just keeping things real, yo. Ah! Were you my friend hurting my friend? L Are you the man hurting my friend, Lurf? I think that is Lerf. Are you actually a ghost? 
Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Are you going to be a giant cat god? <laughs> Talk! Fine. Let's do this. Breaking up the you, knives. You are in no condition to fight. Okay. Is this supposed to be our friends helping us to defeat our demons, our inner demons? I have no idea. I don't know if this is really happening or not. Boom! Get away from her, you piece of shit! You're outnumbered, asshole. You shot me! And we can all use both of our arms. I will personally dis disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, B. Ah! You okay? Where did... You are such an idiot. What were you thinking coming out here alone? I had a dream. You were all dead. Out here in the woods. And it was because of me. Oh, you had a dream? Is that how we're making decisions now? I don't know anymore. Hey. Kiddo. We're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not going to let you wander off into the woods. To die. Okay. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, we'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly. Clearly we all would be. Listen. From all the family my dad has left, I'm damn sure I'm not dying out here. And you're... Oh, skin. <sighs> Go tear up. You're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. <laughs> Unless he accidentally shoots you with the crossbow. Then you're yeah. definitely gonna die. <laughs> Sounds okay. <clears throat> By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, wh what do we do? Follow him, I guess. No, I have to go alone. That's not gonna fly. Anyway! Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up. Or something. Can you walk, May? I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll need you. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go do something really stupid. Gate's open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Aw, oh, dog. You're right. No. I think he said, I think he said dang. Oh. <laughs> he, it, whatever. It's in there. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. So they are like, this is really happening outside my brain, I think. I, I, I honestly don't know. Like, <gasps> the game gives you no indication whether this is ha happening or not. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down there. Just, just a party. Hmm. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Although the world oh, is mo like stand still, and you'll see it like wiggling a little bit. Like, isn't it? Yeah, it's like unsteady. Well, my head is unsteady. Oh, uh, well, okay. Like, I wonder <clears throat> if it's me being unsteady. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a lever. Something tells me I should pull it. Won't let me pull it. Oh, 
Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. Are you sure we want to do this? Yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I don't know what's going to happen down there. Okay, then. We'll come out of this together. I have no idea. No idea what's going on here. Oof. That thing looks old and red and scary. Mm, pass. <laughs> Let's hope we live. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? Listen, sarcastic fox. We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This is in the brochure. Yes, going to your red doomy death in an elevator that hasn't been used in hundreds of years. Yeah, it's in the brochure. Well, here we are. <laughs> At rule number one, guy with crossbow is in front. Especially that guy with crossbow was in front. He fucking plays with knives stabbing me in the hands. May you okay? So woozy from blood loss. I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. It's a fever dream from the infection. That would be interesting, yeah. Yeah. It's got hag syndrome. Yeah, I'm all right. We should be quiet. Yeah, I gotta save the screaming for, later, for the screaming later. At least he's pointing it at the ground. Yeah. He might have a chance to survive. <clears throat> Camera's zooming out? I can't tell. I zoomed out, I think, at the beginning and then... I'm okay. just moving down as I move down. Did you bring your Kadari with you? Oh, God, yeah. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go! Here we go! Ah, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like, junk. Oh god. Oh god! What is it? It's here! It's here! Oh god. What is it? I, I don't know, but it's here. It's, it's through there. Well, let's go through there. I wonder then, if it's eh? all just like the random lines and shapes in this in this cavern. <coughs> That's interesting because there are like all those lines in the back and those poles and such. Yeah, they made a shape of a star. <laughs> I was hoping it would let us keep going. Okay, it's in the cigarette. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. I don't know if this is me talking or not. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole. We're like five times scarier than you. Shit, it's the cult! They are here. They're right here. I'm going to kill him. Eid, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. 
You're... You're apologizing? It was a bad call. Sorry. Uh... It's okay? Didn't actually hit me, so... Wait. What the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. Th then why are you trying to kill me? Kill ya? Nobody's gonna kill ya. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. What the fuck is going on? Contributors. Uh, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not going to let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. And I don't think he's going to be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think Edie? He kidnapped that kid at Harfest! He's been in my head somehow! I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me and following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. Mm. <laughs> Shoot him, Fox. Shoot him. Fucking call me a little girl. Shoot him. And you are a little girl. She's in college. She is not a little girl. Any person that comes at you saying that is meeting it in a degrading way. It'd be different uh if she was actually a little girl. Like... A kid. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it? 20 years back or so? After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vest Sch Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, just big hole, copper. Abandoned. Shoot. Long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison when the first settlers came out here. That old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men came from West Mine, come back up here to try bootlegging, practically build a new elevator, got the whole tunnel cleared, never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. To lead busts through that wall and finds this place. Jim walks right into that hole never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. Someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. Wait. What? What? What is it? Y'all. Black goat. Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there in that hole. Looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. What? Well, why would you just do something a hole in a cave told you to? Gotta understand. In those days it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spitting our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. Ah. I feel like this is a political con con conversation. While we're talked, worked ourselves to death. Ugh, there we go. Agreed, B. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? If you notice, I went into a country accent and all that. Yeah, sure. Mm. We prayed and prayed up at the church. How'd that work out for you? But when Ed scuttered, came back down here and listened, 
he got answers back. Because someone stuck a damn walkie-talkie down there and is fucking with you. Answers. Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe him. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? One and... One's... What? Ones he takes a shine into. Okay. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. This is this is the shining. This is just the shining. I never saw the shining. <laughs> it's a currency. It's currency and destiny, man. <laughs> after Ed talked us all into into all this, after all we picked that first time, after we picked one out. Well. Oh god. Oh, God! I see where this is going! Not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and our money came, too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked? First one was Tom Turner, who, believe you me, was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here. And in the hole he went. Next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Is that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm going to be sick. We never pick no one who's going to be missed. That's a solid rule. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's, there's signs for people that are missing in town, you fuck. Drifters, drunks, delinquents. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no! Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was going to contribute to society, except a bunch of kids grown up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long before whatever said in he'd wind... sad in he'd wind up in. We did him a favor. Hell yeah, Quinn. Don't take my drifter. He cool. You killed Casey? Oh. My. God. We wouldn't use that word. We neutralized him. You know, he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed to. You killed Casey! And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time? His parents put up posters! Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. That's right, Fox! You put the fucking- He <laughs> lifted up the- <laughs> ah! Which one of you did it?! Greg. He was my friend! All right, now. Throw it down right now or I'll shoot you. <laughs> he is fuck. What if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? It's dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. Ah. Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. It's a heavy crossbow. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We're not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this. Possum Springs survives. 
things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying. Houses left empty. You ever see that? A home become a tumbled-in pile of wood and plaster. A job burned become a burned-out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it wouldn't be just... shapes. I'm gonna die down here. Why are you telling all uh, telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? Tell them, B. That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why shouldn't we just call the cops? And say what? You saw some men you can't identify in an abandoned mine behind a locked gate and an elevator that won't run that you saw a hole? Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back, the kids never come back, everything crumbles, Possum Springs bleeds to death, and soon we'll all be dead, and this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave. No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Edie. We don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. No. Edie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is I just don't trust you. Fine. Whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. What the actual fuck? I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just... horror. It's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like, everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Creepy elevator, up we go! Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec. Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. And 
For what? I think I get it. Wow. Really? Too tired to explain it right, but, like, they lost what they thought was going to happen. Which was what had happened, like, a long time ago. Or how they remember or, like, picture it. And things it gave them. So Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go, Angus? Yep. Sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... It's Edie back for revenge! Fuck you, Edie! Should've hit you a second time! Ooh, well there's your sacrifice. Yeah. Time to go. Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? May, say something. Ugh. Why am I laughing? May. This is the uh, Joker origin story. <laughs> <clears throat> Shh, it's okay. It's okay. I've got you. He's gone now. Shit. How are we going to get out of here? Shh. Give her a minute. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So we're not going to suffocate. That's great. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. So he's America's ass and he was a boy scout. Man... No wonder Greg's all about his Angus. He was a Cub Scout. Oh, Cub Scout. Aww. Because he's a bear, get it? Yeah, I get it. I love you. Aww. Clayton. Hold on, I gotta switch over to it. Give that man a shit. <laughs> yes, nice, Quentin. Aww. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again, which is weird. It's like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. All right, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up. A long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Just kick it. If it's been out there for a long time, just kick it. It'll be rotted. Sometimes it's weird. The things that it lets you do in the game. Yeah little mini games. Yeah. Yep. That's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Oh, more death. Mine, river. We're in a mine. Right. Bye, everybody. Just shame me how slow I have to walk. Not rude or nothing. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in a foot of water. Right. Unless it's a foot of snakes. 
Nyah. Definitely more in a foot of water, y'all. Yeah, you are shoulder deep. Oh, there you go. Cat God? I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but... You know? After I sent that kid to the hospital years ago... They said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. The last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time and the fear hurts feeling like everything is over it was over long before I got here and so long hiding and trying to outrun this I get it this won't stop until I die but when I die I want it to hurt when my friends leave when I have to let go when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off. And everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something at least amazing to be something at least okay I don't know what language that is mm. you know I can, can't understand you right oh shut up already I know this won't save me in the end but I don't need to save I don't need it to save me forever I just need it to save me now so if you're gonna kill me right here then do it if not <laughs> okay. May. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No. I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit. If you need to, we're safe. Uh huh. Hey. Hey, bye, guys. There's light over there. Did you smell that? I bet he did. Hey, look, I'm walking like... Can you triple jump? Nah, still can't jump. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> what is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. For sure. Hello! We're down here! He's the voice at the bottom of the hole. Don't ask us why, please! Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I, I I can try to make it out. No, I can like... Smell? Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm like a hyper now. Like dolphin. Dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, uh, whoa, I almost died, and you get all hyper because you f you're filled with dolphins. Endorphins. Endorphins. <laughs> Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. There! That, those. Yeah. Okay, well. Ride those dolphins up out of here! <laughs> That's assuming I can even do this. Do what? 
She's a cat. She's going to climb. Can you climb those dark spots on the wall, on the back wall? Sure yes, can. can. I was trying to see if I got my triple jump back, but I seem to be just doing oh, yeah. a single jump. Now I'm just going to leave you guys, so good luck. Later. Very Thomas was alone music happening right now, and I'm in love with it. it absolutely. Yeah, I guess sounds, so, yeah. It sounds exactly like some of the songs in that game. Uh huh. Well. <laughs> this place. Hmm. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah! What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. Y you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah! Pulls from back pocket rope. Can you go <laughs> get it? Hey, May? Yeah? Was that Jer? Yeah, he's gonna get some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. <laughs> In the woods? My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, uh, seal this well up? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Derb. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. I feel like they just randomly brought in Germ because they needed him. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good bird. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. That's kind of what I was wondering, too. How do you figure? Well, I mean... The elevator's broken, and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of uh, like a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Even worse. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd have had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. Wow, Cap. I would have. That's not the way. That's not the way of America's ass. What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, it's what I think, at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. <laughs> what yeah. trolley thing? 
Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Hey guys! Uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it out. To get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're like special. You can work as hard as you want, but... The universe is gonna keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that we started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Lol. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry. I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them, at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep. There it is. Now I'm just gonna erase <laughs> all that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. to be alive this morning. That's all. <laughs> hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we were, do were doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. Band practice today because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snowcon. Ah, uh, the Snalkin. The Snack Falcon. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Looks like I gotta go jam out, baby. Epilogue. Stars. Stars like my cat god? May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen. <clears throat> if you want to talk. My mom! Oh my god. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. That was a little loud. How are you feeling? Like shit, mom. Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Okay. <laughs> sure, mom. I. 
You're an adult, Ben. You can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, Mom. Oh, okay, good. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because, honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends. I... I almost died again, Ma. I, uh... So sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? Well, Mom, where's his dad? Is dad currently at the bottom of a fucking mine? Kind of curious. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I've had a really there tough very, year, There's a very Mom. small town, and there was like, what, almost a dozen of them? Yelp. It's Missing almost today. certainly some of the people uh, you have met. Han, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is. Just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. Well, I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. <laughs> sure. Uh, Quentin says... I was either I was thinking of either looking in the obituary or looking for someone without an arm. Yeah. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hon. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. Love you, too, Mom. I got to go to band practice. Brand practice. Oh, thank God, Dad's alive. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. <laughs> yeah. Really? No. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Can oh, confirm. Dad. Has Why? both arms. Yeah. I've mined... I've made some glass. I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss's supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be alive and live. Any more of that? Your mom's always had to work, but... I wanted to give you and her time. I wanted her to have hobbies. And enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now it just works so I can keep her health insurance. And hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions are always... We're always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here, listen, I'm going to be around town tonight for dinner. Oh, wow. What's the occasion? Mom said we can make breakfast. Ooh, sounds good. I was going to talk about some stuff. Okay. About a black goat. Maybe we, can, maybe we can talk about your stuff, too. Just one big uh, stuff session. Sounds great, kid. Love you, Dad. Love you too. Be back later. I'm glad Dad's alive. I was worried. Yeah. Oh, Molly, she's alive too. I was expecting her to be out too. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, May. Sure. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh. Don't ask. Uh, a lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Question. You haven't seen... Never mind. Oh, come on out with it. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. May. Spit it out already! Be careful. Just... Be careful. Well, jeez... Until now, I never considered that. Nay! Okay, fine. Thanks, bye. 
I mean, we killed all the bad guys, so town's safer than it has ever been. Yeah, but we didn't sacrifice him to the black goat. Oh, Lord. My rock salt. Oi. Trace uh, snowflakes floating about. Oh, yeah, I see that. I was wondering if it would say or do anything different. Mm hmm falling apart. Nobody got jobs. They don't have salt for the roads. Yep. Hey, look. Hey, it's you. Yup. Yup. For now. Is least. that a statue of him? No. Probably no, not. No, that was more like a bear up there. I was yeah. just looking at the beak. I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up. Do fix it. Whatever needs done. Mostly doors here and there. <laughs> okay. So what's it been like being home again? Things you like you remember them? No. <laughs> Did you know there's a murdering cult? <laughs> I yeah. don't know. And a bloodthirsty black crevice? goat. <laughs> yeah. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Because he's God. Call experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. And I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well... In my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something, and sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Ha 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 ha! Creepy old janitor. Wait, how do you know my name? <laughs> oh, that's a good point. New guy. Holy crap! A taco <laughs> place! This is the this is best like thing that's happened in this <laughs> town since we got internet. <laughs> <laughs> We're still using Cyberfish until like two years ago because it really is like Logan. <laughs> two decades behind here. Takes you three days to torrent a movie. Takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God, life moves on, huh? They deliver. Oh my God! They. <laughs> <laughs> gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. And the tacos are gonna eat the shit out of you. So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding a sign out in the snow. Not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I don't like tacos. There's not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. That's a true Texan statement there. Bad news. My ex hates tacos. That's why he's your ex. Yep. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. They pay me in tacos. 
Sometimes they bark at you. Mm -hmm. Snalkin. Getting our band practice on. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. Well, look who's alive and well, too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Do a band practice? Yeah. All right, you got to get ready. Crack my knuckles. Stretch my fingers. Yeah. Stretch my arms. Butcher this song one more time. God, this door just, just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. So did you all get keys to the back door? Greg got one and he made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Hmm. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs. I think we yes. all are. Since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. A lot. Like uh, multiple times a week. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Greg's a nice person. Oh, yeah. He definitely is. But he's also bright and irresponsible. Thus the jobs. And has, like, zero attention span. Greg needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend. And he's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Jeez. You've thought this out. It's in the brochure. <laughs> Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. <coughs> so, like, how are you? I'm good. Really? I feel like right now I could convince myself I was fine or completely shattered. Just, like, stuck in neutral. You? Um, not great. Had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads. That's a, that is a band name if I've ever heard it. <laughs> Who knows if that was all of them. I can't believe they even exist or existed. Probably take them a few days to die. Oh, God. Yep. I don't know. I kind of understand them in a weird way. Really? It's like a porch light that's on. And there are all these bugs around it. And then the light goes out. And there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. The world is extremely bad. Amen. Yes. Yes, it is. Weird question. How do you, like, get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. You don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all this running because you care. I guess. Caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there, right out of sight, following me. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store, 
and our bills at home, stuff with the Chamber of Commerce, I'm doing free study courses online. I got and this I'm dad cult that I'm running. <laughs> and I'm a member of the Young Socialist. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. <laughs> to each according to their ability. <laughs> Well, on the bright side, you got me. Yeah. yeah. We can fix the world together. Yep. Fix it right up. We fix that furnace. I fix that <laughs> furnace. <laughs> well, I fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, Meg. You sure did. I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. There's like a whole war about that, just so everyone knows. They're I like mean, ghosts yeah. in some old mansion, killing the old new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything about... What? We should go, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. And they sell barbecue. I think barbecue is... Barbecue is everywhere. Yeah. <coughs> Not all of it. It's everywhere, B. All different kinds. Dry, wet, ultra... I don't know what ultra barbecue is. That's in Japan. <laughs> I could. Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. Yeah, she called her BBQ. Oh, she did. <coughs> I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Yeah, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then. You have a way of making doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. <laughs> Same this thing. This is all right. Yeah. I was like, just date. God damn this door. I think God already has. <laughs> there they are. Hey, guys. Sup, nerds. you the nerds what jeez we've never been so insulted take it right back dork fat chance hey greg so i didn't really know casey yeah i just wanted to say i'm really sorry yeah thanks casey was a good one casey was good should we, like, tell his parents? Probably. What do we tell him? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what? The truth isn't real enough? Not even close. Not even close to believable. No, you're right. The truth is insane. So, like... What do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? Here, here. I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? <coughs> I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. 
when I was in that coma or whatever, I saw the future. Or maybe it's now the future. Or was the future. Like flying cars and shit. Actually, those would be a disaster. Finally, you made it. You owe me five bucks. That's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned, like being eaten and reclaimed by nature and some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a sec. Then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza. Yeah. Good enough. <laughs> what? It's like, do we play the song now? I was expecting to play a song and then go back and have dinner with my parents. What was that game? I, I don't know. Existential crisis. Hey. Hey, That's Logan. Thank Logan. you for the raid. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want some more space dragon. I, I just don't understand this game. So was I having an existential crisis? I don't. Okay, I don't think I was imagining some of those things. I think I had the dreams. But like, what? <laughs> oh my god! Oh Logan my said god! The pups are here to cause havoc. Hide your favorite shoes. Hide your treats. And prepare for adorable doggos. Logan, I feel like you definitely need to hang out with our Logan. With our Logan, yeah. Because you guys seem like Logan Square. Because very, you're very, both dog lovers. Very Logan much dog lovers. Loves his dog. Logan will be on stream with us tomorrow and hang in with me all day Saturday in Mass Effect. So uh -huh. I hope you can come hang out because I think you guys would be quite a pair. So was there really <laughs> was there really a black goat under town I, that this I don't cult know. was sacrificing people to? I, I don't <laughs> I don't know what was meant to be metaphorical and what was literal. Rami Ishmael. I don't know. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Logan. We literally just finished the game, and I was like, what like, the fuck? <laughs> as she pressed the button game. to go to the credits, the raid hit. <laughs> Intrepid says, puppies are life. I converted him to dog life. Well, don't be mad, but me and Clayton are all about the kitties. Hey! And e Eco, the cat. Eco the cat. And we have five cats <laughs> that we yeah, have rescued. We got, we got us a few cats. From various trash cans, parking lots, backyards bleeding. Speaking of uh, cats, uh, you going to play some uh, uh, lemon cake? Unfortunately, I really wanted to play some lemon cake because I wanted to kind of touch base and let you guys see all the progress I have made. But I have actually got to do something. So we're actually going to end stream on time tonight. Well, somewhat. We're 15 minutes late. Eh, you know, whatever it is. And Trepid did indeed make me into a dog person. I grew up with cats. I grew up with dogs. Got yeah. some cats in high school. Married my husband, and he had the most beautiful Himalayan, Seal Point Himalayan named Oscar. Yeah, fell in love boy. with him, and then they just kept getting a bigger and bigger cat family. <laughs> yep. That's how it happens. Logan says, nothing wrong with being a cat person, and Intrepid says, animals just make life better. <laughs> yeah, they do. Tell me about it as I wake up every morning with at Hovered least cats. one cat on the bed. A lot of times, three cats on the bed and me and Clayton shoved in there. <laughs> yeah. It, like, woven in between them so as not to disturb them. Like, one's usually shoved between my legs. Another one's shoved between the two of us. And on the other side of Clayton is the third. Yeah. And he's the biggest. <laughs> he's the 20-pounder. Yeah. Fat boy. 
Well, I am so sorry that we don't have more time to chat tonight, guys, but I'm glad we were able to finish this game. It's going to take me a while to di digest this and try to fucking figure this shit <laughs> out. Um, but we're going to end stream there tonight. We're going to be back tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern doing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Switch. So that's Is that what we're doing? Fun. Oh, I, yes, we are. I have constant animal here. <laughs> Our biggest dog will occasionally try to snuggle on the bed. Nothing like a hundred. Oh, oh, we have a Malamute. Oh. Dang, dude. Yay. Um, if you want to know what, more about what we're going to be playing uh, during the weeks, make sure you follow us on Twitter. And you can also check out more of our social media. Hint, hint. You definitely want to follow us on Twitter and Instagram right now. Right now. Do it right now. Because Shelby's got the weekend off. So I'm going to be getting into trouble and maybe posting stuff. Maybe going to Galveston for the first time in the three years we've lived here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Four years we've lived here. Um, so we have a Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. We also have a Discord. I do post stuff on there as well. Social media, like uh, pictures and stuff about what's going on. And we chat on there all the time. Make sure you join there and be one of the board members. And go to our website, carpetboredom.com. You'll have links to everything as well as our store where we sell the softest shirt I've ever felt in my life. And we have two podcasts, the Carpet Boredom podcast that gets uploaded every first Monday of the month. Hey, thank you very hey. much for subscribing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, and we also have the uh, Help Me Understand podcast which is clayton and brandon who has not been on this week so i don't know his voice yet uh they talk about jojo's bizarre adventures again tomorrow night 9 30 p.m eastern we're gonna be playing mario kart 8 with me clayton and logan and clayton had a raid set up but it looks like it canceled out uh i was gonna raid uh chad but he's in follower or sub only gotcha so the old standby of only MXC. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Joyce and MXC. Yeah, your favorite pastime. Well, uh -huh. we'll see you guys back here tomorrow night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern for more some, some more video games. <laughs> Good night. Right.